Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So from today, uh, I'm going to start reacting to uh, Fate Carnival Phantasm. Now here's the thing, um, I've already watched this, but it was like six six years ago or something like that. Six something like that. You know, like I I, I watched this in as far as I can remember in 2015 or something. So it is like six years. So like and there's another thing at that time I was very new to the fate franchise I just completed uh, reading the no visual novels and then I jumped into uh, Carnival Phantasm I didn't even watch the anime I, I jumped into Carnival Phantasm after that I don't know why <laughs> so most of the stuff I doubt I was able to understand most of the inner jokes you know inner fate jokes I wasn't able to understand most of the things and I was pretty new to anime at that time as well uh, so a lot of jokes and a lot of like, you know, inside jokes, wordplays, I'm sure it were, flew over my head and I don't even remember stuff. I remember things that I've heard like two to three months ago. And this is like you're, you're talking about like five years ago. I don't remember anything about Fate Carnival, uh, uh, Carnival Phantasm, nothing. So I thought like since I'm doing YouTube now and yeah, I need content. <laughs> Let me just react to this and um, I think it's like 12 or 13 episodes I'm not sure how many but I'll probably kind of react to one episode per week something like that I'll do so yeah let me see how many things how many inside jokes how many fake jokes I'm able to understand this time because it's been a, a long time I've, I've, I'm like you know in interacting with fate franchise uh, it's been a long time so I probably should be able to understand most of the things uh so yeah let's just see oh another thing i remember uh this this also probably has sukihime characters uh, unfortunately i've played sukihime a long time ago and i don't remember anything except except the main heroines that's all that i remember so i probably won't be able to understand the sukihime jokes you know but the fate jokes i should be able to understand because i'm i'm always interacting with fate so yeah, let's see how like you know how this goes, and uh, I'm I'm sure like you know a lot of jokes that I never understood understood at that time I'll be able to understand now. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started. Um, I'll be like you know this will be like a, a blurry version obviously because of copyright, no audio. So I'll be putting the timer over here. If you want to, you can play it along, play the video alongside my reaction, and you know and sync the video to the timer. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is my reaction to episode 1 of Fate Carnival Phantasm. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer over here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's a countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, I remember this portion, kind of. Those little uh, <laughs> <laughs> chili. I don't know what you call these. Is this Kirei? I'm sure it's Kirei who called it. <laughs> um, carnival is starting. Whoa! Damn. Fairy still cost. Pro oh, okay. <laughs> I remember none of this. Okay, that's why the Sukima characters also come here because it's a carnival. Wow. Super voice acting, like. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Oh my God, this, this opening is just fantastic. And <laughs> like, I remember when I watched this the first time, I was really confused as to what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> because at that time I did not know that fate has this type of a, what do you call this jokestar type of side like you know like the whole thing with 
like you know they they kind of what do you call it like parody a lot of thing and like these type of stuff like carnival phantasm learning with manga like in this full on gag material and i did not i was not aware of that fact because i was very new to the fate franchise i was like what is even happening here <laughs> and i wasn't able to understand half of the references and i think i will probably be able to enjoy this a lot more now because i'm quite familiar with a lot of stuff from fate so <laughs> Kojiro sitting <laughs> Oh my god, I realized Gilgamesh is sitting on top of the berserker's head. I did not see that before. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Okay, a fierce battle is happening. Yep, let's see the fierce battle. <laughs> there you go, the fierce battle. <laughs> Great clash of the magicians. Extend the special. Oh my god, looking at. <laughs> All the characters. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Lance is a master, we all know where he is. Oh my god, due to circumstances. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Obviously. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who's... <laughs> oh my god. Well. <laughs> card game. Oh, card match. Are they, oh yeah, they're playing Karuta. Damn, Archer! <laughs> Dog! <laughs> wow. Dennis. I don't remember anything. Oh wow. What the? Who the hell? Wait. Oh, this is media. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, well, you lost. Bazaka is a winner. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Blackbeard? Oh, Blackbeard. Oh, this is called Blackbeard. I did not know that. I know this game. Like you. 
You. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh wow, what the? Wait, what are those? Was that a crowbar? No, it was something else. Oh, Lansagashinda. <laughs> Lansagashinda joke. <laughs> Break up. <laughs> Oldest bully in human history. Oh wow, the transitions. Oh, the king's game. <laughs> so... Wait, they won? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> wow, how, how did this happen? Yes, it is. Oh, is that the Holy Grail? No, what is that? Yeah, it is the Holy Grail. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's going to break it, isn't he? What the? <laughs> What's this epic slow motion sequence? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what the? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> wow, this is full chaos. What the? <laughs> yeah, QC will be proud. You know? <laughs> oh, Ashur is here. <laughs> no way. Two ancestors section is next. Okay, Sukime's portion I completely forgot. Like I don't remember anything from Sukime. Only the characters I remember. Phantasm Moon. What the? Wait, Arsha is a mouse or the? What? Wide Moon. Oh, Wide Moon Princess. Okay, Sukime. Panta's moon, okay. <laughs> Demon Akiha. <laughs> He's holding a... Episode 13? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. I remember little bits and pieces of it, but nothing concrete. Like, oh my god, I'm seeing all these Tsukihime characters and I can realize that I don't remember any one of them. <clears throat> I don't remember any one of them. Always uh, uh, the main heroes I remember, but other than that, no one. Damn, I'm 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 actually waiting for the Sukime remake to actually get a, a, a translation. My God, it's been a long while I've read Sukime. Ha <laughs> ha 
ஒரு I feel like I kind of saw a little bit at the beginning but then I did not continue. I don't know why. It, it, it was like a I think Melty Blood is like a action and not action but like an arcade type of a game. Yeah. So I think I did not actually play it because of that. But anyways, okay, um <coughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god, this is fantastic. Okay. Um uh, first of all, one thing I've always wondered if you guys know, they can let me know. um the the characters in the beginning you know those little chibi um uh, chibi cat like uh, <laughs> creatures uh, who kind of look like uh, arshed and the other characters of sukihime but they're like chibi cat versions of them do they have like a, a, a particular name or something are they like some kind of a thing in the fate franchise because i see them a lot in a lot of uh, like you know like especially in carnival phantasm fate grand carnival we see these these characters a lot so i wonder like are they like some kind of a, i don't know like like some kind of a mascot or something like let me know if you guys know about it so yeah anyways okay so all right that was the first episode damn like <laughs> oh boy it, i i remembered few bits and pieces of it but most of the things i don't remember i remember the uh karuta playing section kind of you know i remember that they played the karuta game i also remembered the portion where uh lancer gets <laughs> you know impaled by that what the dragbeard game i think that's what they call it and uh, that i i remember bo- bo- both of those sections other than that i forgot each and everything i don't remember anything and it's coming back little by little now that i'm watching and rewatching this you know and <laughs> my god okay the first episode here um <laughs> excuse me first of all is <laughs> is great seeing kire as like a judge kire and elia and um <laughs> damn like these uh, what can i say first of all uh, we see lancer alone because obviously we know who lancer's master is all of us knows um <laughs> <laughs> then obviously um sasagi kojiro is not there i think media probably left her back in the temple so that he can like you know guard that place so she did not bring her here, bring uh, kojiro here and just like <laughs> brought a cardboard cut out of him <laughs> and we know like uh, sasagi kojiro's master in a way is actually media so like that's why there's no master as well <laughs> unfortunate situation um media is obviously with um soichiro um a uh, rider with um, shinji now here's one thing i don't know why they did not put sakura here like um why shinji like i understand that shinji was kind of like a pseudo master for medusa but is soon soon sakura be here i guess she, she, she technically shinji is the master kind of so that's why yeah but anyways um <laughs> I think Sakura is probably in the uh, audience. Yeah, that must be it. And obviously Rin and Archer, Saber and uh, Shiro, and uh, and uh, and Heracles. That's it, Bazaka. So, 
Oh my god. And I love all the different matches that they had. First of all, the Karuta match. And um, like Archer was able to so easily get them because most probably <laughs> he is an Archer, you know? Like, so he has great eyesight, I guess, great concentration power or whatever. And yeah, that's why he, like, you know, whenever Kotomine was saying something, he was just slapping it away. And unfortunately, Ku Hulin was like a bad uh, matchup. <laughs> and he lost. And then the tennis match, and I, like, I, I was able to recognize media, obviously, because, like, you know, like, like, I played Fate. Like, I've seen that version of media a lot, like, you know, the normal version without the, um, the hood. Now, I remember, first time when I um, <laughs> watched this, I really wasn't able to recognize media, just like how um, in this portion, when media comes out, Shiro and Saber is like, who is this? I was also in, of a similar, like, you know, uh, in a similar condition. I was like, who is this? We've never seen this girl before. Um, and then, like, you know, they show us a little flashback of media <laughs> drooling over Saber. <laughs> and then, then I realized, oh, this is media. And this is another, I think, running joke, running gag of fate of where, like, you know, media kind of uh, <laughs> loves Saber so much and kind of drools over her. Uh, because obviously we know in, in, the, in Fate's Day Night, like, you know, media <coughs> captures Saber and stuff happens, you know. So I think that, that kind of is like a comedic way of, like, you know, me, we see in Fate Carnival Phantasm and these type of gag, gag stuff you know, gag um, uh, anime that media kind of like, you know, is very affectionate towards Saber. And not only this, I remember in uh, Hollow Ataraxia as well, when I played it, <laughs> media was like this. Media was full on like, you know, like, uh, what, what can I say? Like, <laughs> uh, you know, drooling over Saber all the time. So yeah, like, that's another running joke. And obviously, uh, you know, Bazakar breaks all the rules and everything. Then we get to the Blackbeard again. I think that's what they're called. I've seen this game a lot before, you know, where they kind of push some needles or swords into a barrel and, like, you know, one of them kind of, I don't know, like, there's like a little pirate over it and it kind of pops out. This game, I'm not sure what, they kind of, they call it a Blackbeard game. I'm, I'm not even sure if it, if it is called a Blackbeard game originally. But... Yeah, anyways, uh, that happens, and, <coughs> and then we see, um, you know, like, Lancer again, another running gag of fate, um, Lancer Gashinda Kono Hito Denashi. <laughs> Lancer always dies, damn. Like, I, I, one thing that I really love about fate is that they kind of take these type of serious things, you know, which was in the anime, in the anime, the novel, uh, in face day night uh, for example like just like how lancer dies every route every route lancer dies in one way or the other and this thing they kind of take it and and in a, in a comedic way they kind of made this as, as as a running joke as like lancer always dies and lancer gashinda <laughs> and <clears throat> again like another joke as i said like media drooling over saber like that thing, that's like one thing in the anime and, like, and, and it translates into like a very comedic situation in the, uh, in Carnival Phantasm. So these things, I love like really like, you know, these type of things where they twist something so dark into a lighthearted, funny type of a joke. And like, like Carnival Phantasm is the best example of that, I think, because we can see here uh, Kide and Ilya stand, standing like, you know, side by side, like, judging the holy grail war i don't know like show like contest or whatever and kide like you know stressing about that if like you know like no use of noble phantasm if the whole city like you know breaks down i will we'll have to clean everything up like like these type of comedic situation i just love this you know like these type i i, I really want them to make more of these type of things you know with like light hearted just jokes funny jokes and stuff 
and i would love if actually fate uh, you know like i think they made a few of the animations um learning with manga fgo and uh, a few of them i've also watched them i reacted to them as well uh, as far as i can remember um <clears throat> So I would love if I, I know like the fate learning with manga is like, you know, it still comes out. I would love if they make more animations on that, you know, like fate learning with manga is another completely, uh, what can I say, crazy thing. Like I just loved it so much. I loved the eccentricity. I loved the chaos that goes on in the fate franchise. It's, it's so great to just watch these type of, like, you know, just funny, <laughs> like self-aware jokes my god breaking the fourth wall all this stuff it's just fantastic <clears throat> anyways um so yeah uh lancer dies again unfortunately <laughs> and then the kings came and we see all the other different games excuse me um we see gilgamesh <laughs> trying to <clears throat> put shinji in hot water i think that is yeah and then shiro and uh, archer I don't know what game that is, but they're like, you know, on, on a very high elevated path platform fighting some, doing something. And uh, <laughs> you see miracles and all this weird stuff happens. And then in the end, as we can see, Shiro says that enough is enough. This holy grail is the reason for everything. I'll break it. And he breaks it and out comes this i don't know as i said like you know, I'm, I'm not sure if these like these chibi uh cat type of characters uh who look like characters from sukihime you know, because the, the cat that comes out uh, of the holy grail she looks like a chibi cat version of arshit you know so i'm not sure if the, these have like a particular name or something or they're just like mascots but yeah th this come out comes out and <laughs> Like, you know, they transport Shiro out into the rocket and yeah, it just goes out, out of the atmosphere. <laughs> Kira is like, oh, so uh, the Holy Grail's power, it's still not, <clears throat> like we humanity is not, are not powerful enough to handle it still. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <clears throat> and then we get a last minute, you know, <clears throat> section of Arsiet and, um, you know, Tsukihime characters in a Maho Shoujo's, uh, I don't know, parody setting where Arsiet is like the moon princess, as we know, Tsukihime. And <laughs> they're like, episode number 30, this is the preview. Like, <laughs> what happened to episode 1 to 12? <laughs> I'm sure this, like, you know, like, they, like, this is another thing of the comedy, you know, it's random completely, like, they could have easily done it with, like, you know, episode number one, you know, episode one of this Marble Phantasm, whatever, uh, <clears throat> Maho Shoujo Arshiet, they could have done it like that, but no, they did episode number 30, like, completely random, <laughs> like, I love this random humor of fate, like, fate has this, and I've, I think I've not seen much anime, <clears throat> have this like fate on probably is the only one i think that has this random type humor like it's, it's completely random you know weird stuff happens it com it's completely random and it, it's, it's just funny and <clears throat> yeah I, I love this random humor this random humor is just great and <laughs> yeah fate is very like amazingly able to do this and i think the main reason they're able to like you know make this succeed is because they really know their fan base you know like what type of memes we make what what is going on you know what are the problems that especially in fgo like i've seen a lot of times when fate grand carnival kind of joke around with stuff which we masters like you know we players kind of feel while playing the game <clears throat> They joke and that that really shows that they really know their f player fan base and they make jokes like self-aware jokes like that self-aware random jokes which are just so hilarious when you realize and you realize that yeah this is so true <laughs> that's what i love about fate this 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 portion is just great and uh yeah wow and then in the last scene we see taiga kind of like the whole taiga dojo thing 
And I think they say something about, like, you know, Tiger said something about the budget. I feel like this Tiger Dojo was like a part of the novel, wasn't it? Visual novel. And as you know, visual novels have this, um, you know, unanimated sprites, you know, of characters. That's why Tiger is here, like, oh, we got animation budget this time. We'll be able to do this better. That's why let's, you know, <laughs> move as much as we want. <laughs> because this is the anime, like, you know, we have the animation budget. Oh my god. So, yeah, like, he, she says, I'll take this a chance to move as much as I want to. Wow. Alright, wow, that was fantastic. As I said, I don't remember most of the things. Uh, f and while, but while watching it, I feel stuff are kind of, I'm remembering, recalling. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to get a lot of more jokes here and I'll be able to understand a lot of more things because when I watched this, I was barely into fate and I doubt like I think like fate grand carnival or fate carnival phantasm is something which like people who are accustomed to fate will enjoy a lot more than people who are very new to fate. And yeah, like and since I am pretty accustomed to fate now. I'll be able to enjoy this a lot more so that's it guys so that's my reaction to episode one so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to episode number one of fate carnival phantasm if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out um as i said i'll be putting out one video every week like this you know i'll try to keep it weekly so next week I'll probably uh, upload this. Uh, I, I'll keep to try to keep this time. You know, I'll try to keep it punctual. So yeah, but if I get busy or something, I might not be able to. But I will try my best to put, to be punctual and uh, upload one episode every week. So yeah, so next week I'll uh, like try to upload same time. So yeah, and if you guys are interested in my other fate um, stuff that I like, you know, stuff that I react to and other fate videos, I'll be linking down my playlist below. You can check it out. There are a lot of videos I think that I did on fate. <laughs> I think it's like probably ninety or ninety plus videos I have that, that I did on fate a lot. So yeah, you can check them out. Uh, I'll be linking it down below. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Fate uh, Carnival Phantasm. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.